It is a beautiful day and welcome to Up Number today. My name is Michael Ekene. Let's move straight to today in history. 1978, an agreement was reached between Nigeria and the United Kingdom to establish the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, to promote national unity. All right, today in history, in 1992, military ruler Ibrahim Badamasi Babengida annulled the result of the June 12, 1993 presidential election. It is a beautiful day in the city of APJ. Welcome to Art Number. My name is Michael Ekene, and of course, I've got Sedatu Mohammed with me today. Good morning, Michael. Delectable, awesome. Let's move straight to the newspaper today. The punch above the header. 950 Naira per litre Dangote Petrol may justify more importation. That is coming from marketers. And I have one writer to that story. Dealers, PMS versus arrive as Ipman. Patreon demand transparency in pricing. Details read on page two. And away from that, the big story, the kicker is a do gov governor poll. Petrol crisis threatens election as APC PDP set for showdown. One writer to that story, INEC transporters review election materials, personnel carriage contract, parties, reject last minute strategies. Details on page Two and away from that, Tenable visit Bruno, uh, pledges support for flood victims. You can see that picture story on the Punch newspaper this morning. And I'll see Aburi led NWC reject new LP fraction details on page 41. Ogu landlord defies tenants' 14 year old daughter. Very oh, painful, that yeah, very painful. Tragedy, that that story is we'll look at it later. And then the last story I'll take on the punch newspaper today, same name linkage, 65 million GSM lines risk disconnection. Details on page 27. Over to you, Sedatu. All right. Let's take a look at the Vanguard newspaper this morning and all the headlines that come with it. The first headline says, 75 died in Kaduna, Asadan, Zamfara, boat miss shape. And then the next headline says, Idi Al Mouloud fix Nigeria before it's too late. Khan tells leaders. And then the big story say down go to petrol. Nigerians to pay 950 per litre. That is something else. I, Honestly. I, I saw that. I didn't talk about it because. Um, and somebody is saying more to come. Yeah, there's more to come. It might get as was at 1,200 per litre. It's already been sold at prices prices in some states. I don't know what is happening, you know. Go on. All right, and let's take two kicker to that story. Pump price now Lagos 950, and then Abuja 992, 992 mm. naira, and then Bruno 1000. 1000, yeah. yes, it's already 1000. NNPC completes li lifting 16.5 million liters, and then the last story says Okonjo Iwela to seek second time as WTO director. All right, let's also move straight and take a look at the Daily Independent today and see what the paper is saying this morning. Um, Nigeria inflation eases to 32.15% in August. And away from that, again, government attack police station in Anambra. This story is really big. Yeah. Insecurity is see, becoming a menace else. in Nigeria. Kill two officers. Regrettable. Yeah. Let's move away from that. Um, my eight-point agenda linked to digital in Identity initiative that is coming from Tenubu. We've not seen that yet the coming to manifestation. It's still it. being talk and talk and talk and nothing is happening. And the big story on the day independent this morning, Tenubu in Midugri pledges at federal government support for flood victims to write us to that story. Vows to tackle climate change, environmental issues differently. Monarch urges probe of flooding, laments losses. And the last story I'll take on the Daily Independent this morning. And it says the Medjugri flooding is the key car. And do may ask for the government to res rescue trapped residents. Details on page 17. We talked about that yesterday, yeah. how the flood submerged the city of Medjugri. And everybody has been going to give them relief um, materials. Yes, I heard that um, United Nations has mm -hmm. dropped some 
fund. Yeah, the president so was there yesterday. So we are just praying it gets to it these gets people here. It gets to the right here. people. And also some other clergies were there. Mm -hmm. Pastor Paul Enencher was there also. Okay. Uh, we pray that many lives were not lost. Let's and so far, there's no much record yeah, on there's no much record yeah. All right, that's the size of the packet on the Daily Trust. Do where to pick a copy? Let's move back to you, say that too. Okay, let's look at the Daily Trust newspaper. Um, the first um, headline says, Consign as NIPOST Refund Initiative Hit Rock. And then the second headline says, Senate Barrow Receive Kano Governor Top Aid. Sani Dambo into APC from NNPP. And then the big story said, despite 40 billion Naira ecological fund flood ravaged states. Hmm, this is huge. I take yeah. that again. Despite 40 billion Naira ecological fund flood ravaged states. And then the um, next headline says, many Maulid, many Maulid celebrants killed in Kaduna Road accident. And that's all the package on Daily Trust newspaper. Oh, I thank you, Sadat, to do where to pick a copy of those papers and enjoy. We will keep you glued to the screen as we move to the big story, which is really big, as gunmen are still attacking police station in An Anambra, killing two police officers. That might be two, but there might be more to more the story. The story Don't exactly. move a muscle. Big story coming your way soon. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back to the big story this morning, and it is big because insecurity has been ravaging Nigeria. We don't even know where to run to. You run to the east, west, and south. It's the same thing because policemen have been under attacks. Sporadic attacks has been, it's been it's becoming a menace right now, especially the southeast state that is known. It's always been peaceful. Cool. We we're talking about uh, not not um not western state or okay. uh, 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 let's talk about borono kaduna all the northern states yeah okay. the no all the five northern the states, states being attacked in even the middle belt even the middle belt yeah. in many years past now we are worried about the east especially because it started since the proscribed movement started mm -hmm. the indigenous people of biafra ipop and the agitations the question is this morning what have they been agitating for oh. to be unleashing mayhem in the southeast, especially targeting security operators, not just the police, Navy, Army, Air Force, Civil Defense. There was a time we reported here from Oweleke TV how they attacked some joint task force and set their vehicles ablaze. It's becoming um, it's becoming something that is um, causing unrest. Yeah, it's causing unrest and it's 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 atrocious that's a big word for wickedness yes. because for people to keep going to police stations to to shoot policemen that is guiding the community this happened in umunze okay. umunze is is um is a border town with communities in imo state bordering anambra is anambra south senatorial district but then what do we make of nigerian security and then let's talk about ipop okay. in subject if, if, if I ask, if you ask anyone now, what are they really agitating for? Okay, let me start with, there's this um, historical um, quote that says, another man um, freedom fighter mm. is another man's terrorist. Mm. And then another man terrorist is another man freedom fighter. So for me, the IPOB are to some extent some people freedom fighter and then to some extent some people terrorists. Whose freedom because are they fighting for? Namdekano, the leader, <laughs> has been arrested? I That's thought the they question. said they want, they're fighting for the state, the Biafra state, right? They oh, want okay. a Biafra for themselves, oh, right? Okay, the manifestation of uh, in the Biafra. Yeah, so mm. I think they want to be, like, they want to be out. They want their own country. Yeah, I actually, I actually saw that, that movement of the sovereign state of Biafra. That's right, yes. myself, yeah. So they want their own country. So I'm just feeling like if you want to, if, if you're looking for your freedom, you want freedom for yourself mm. and you're causing mayhem, and it's also leading to the uh, um, killing of people, destroying properties, and I could easily tag that as terrorist, terrorism. It's terrorism, actually. Do you understand? Because let's talk about the Ariwa community. Let's okay. say now the, the, the Westerners will tell you, okay, we want to have our Ariwa community. 
they went ahead of, of um, um, when they got a Amotek with security outfit to actually guide the Western state. Some people came out and said, hey, it's possible that they, that they want Ariwa to come to fruition. But then this Masop people or this secessionist group have taken it to the extreme. I particularly see it as nonsensical because you don't start killing your own people because you want independence from Nigeria. And then if, if for instance, IPOP gains freedom, mm -hmm. for instance, do they even love themselves? Because I see it as, because in every election, you see that the, the Southeasterners okay. will not have one voice. That is the problem of Southeasterners. They cannot support one person and put all their eggs in one basket and say, we want to front this person. You see Ojuz Okalo coming up presidency, you see Bitobi, you see this person, you see Iwayamu. Support one person. So Historically, they, it has been like that. They've lacked unity, unity exactly. and love. So now, if, for instance, the federal government decides to grant them this thing. It's not even going to be possible. That part is not going to be possible. We just want a one Nigeria where the um, existence of peace and unity. You can't just segregate yourself and say you want to be a nation. Do you have all it takes to be a nation from coming from some uh, set of people that, just like you said, they are not united. They are not united in one way. And even if they grant them this um, um this um, wish or this um, decision that they are make, they are about to make, if it's granted to them, can they be able to handle it? Can they put? Can they put? A huge, a huge question because unity, yeah, because unity and um, love. Let's talk about unity and freedom, okay. or, or it's 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 fundamental to peaceful coexistence of any nation. Sure. Unity in itself is a is a criteria that cannot be underestimated okay. because if you're not united, you can. You can't come to the front. Follow one leader. And then economically and socially, these people are viable because they are very industrious, they are very rich. Because there was a time the Southeasterners wanted to leave Lagos. They were threatened. Mm -hmm. They wanted to leave Lagos. And Lagos State government was like, bro, if you guys go, everything will crumble. Mm -hmm. Because the business, when we talk about the business of this nation, the economy, the economic prowess of Nigeria is anchored on Southeasterners. Everyone knows that. And that is why federal government doesn't want it. But I, I want to see a federal government that makes it, that makes it, uh, that it is all inclusive, all inclusivity okay. in terms of Southeasterners, Southwesterners, the Northerners, yes. and wherever you're from. Let the policies and plans affect everybody. I think that has been what also led to why you saw the Bayesa and the people, you know, the agitation we had, we had before. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we saw Asari Dokubo because of all you. Yeah. Okay. They were not treated right. Family, uh, yeah, they weren't treated right. And then the militants came at four. Oh. Right now, succession is eye pop and all that. And sometimes it, it's even. I think they, they also want to be settled. The yeah. eye pop also yeah. wants to be settled and yeah. probably recognize okay, the same thing like that the happened Niger to the militants. Yeah. Niger Delta militant. mm. I think I am thinking. They want it, settlement. Just yes. like the federal government settled yes, the militants. Exactly. Okay, we that stop it? Because in some places. It might. In some places, our mama. Uh, Nkwere, Nawi, Ihiala, Mbise, Imo State. Those are southeastern places <laughs> that okay, have been okay, ravaged. Okay. It is now like... I was thinking Boko. they were a group of... No, 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 no. <laughs> it is now like the den of the den Boko Haram in Midugri. Right now they've turned into a den. And it's, it's becoming something because that is, why, that is why I'm talking about it. Because I feel like they don't know what they really want. Because now... They are kidnapping, and, and, and all they are things. killing people, okay. they are kidnapping people to get their cars Gosh. and possessions. But then you wonder why Joint Tactics, Navy, Army, Air Force, Police, they've not gone to bomb the whole place. You can't. Um, innocent civilians will be affected. If that measure is taken, definitely it will affect innocent civilians. And mm. we all know if things like this happen, it definitely uh, affects the masses. And the poor people will pay the price for it. So I think that is why they are taking you know, the measure they have to take in order to um, navigate things in a peaceful... Awesome. Well, the spokesperson of the police command, SP Tochukui Kenga, has uh, in a press release said operators of the command uh, recovered some improvised explosive devices and they have gone after the attackers. When would they be arrested? That's one thing. Okay. It has happened so many times in Anambra State, Imo State, and we know how this people go scot free. They, sti they are still there unleashing mayhem. So today we are uh, we are soliciting federal government, please take this seriously. It's not just 
the five northern states that needs uh, security interventions. Also, if it is if it is possible to also relocate uh, some of the military, just like did, they did to Sokoto, okay. yeah, deploy the military to that particular place. Our mama, uh, this place that it happened also in Umunze, uh, also Obaru in local yeah, Obaru local government, okay. also in Imo State, um, um, Navy, and some other places, Nkwere or Kigwe. That road is a menace. Please, federal government, we are soliciting. And for those also that are watching, of course, you drop, drop in on the, on the comment section where you feel that these attacks are severe. You feel federal government should take note because most times, probably, the report might be, you know, might be one-sided. They need to get a holistic report of where this is happening. And also, these people that are ag agitating, the question is, what exactly do you are want? You do you keep killing your own, your, own, your own blood? You keep shedding innocent blood? For government to listen to you, I don't think that is the yeah, right stopping way. Stopping economic way. activities, yeah, yeah, declaring definitely. a day that it's not supposed yeah, to. Yeah, like Monday, 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 Mondays are sit at, at home, sit at, at home. home. It's our, it's, it is outrageous and nonsensical to me. I don't think that solves anything. Really but then let's see what happens. <laughs> let's be optimistic. And this this country is something. That is, you want to travel now? You have to really extra guard yourself because nowhere is safe. Hard. Nowhere is safe. Mm. Only God is saving us. That is the size of the packet of a big story today on Outnumbered. Don't forget, on the social media platform is Oweleka TV. Drop a comment and tell us what you feel about today's topic and what you feel we should also talk about next on Outnumbered. My name is Michael Ekene, and I'll be discussing with Seda to Mohammed. Thank you. Thank you so much for making it delightful you did. and insightful. <laughs> Till we come your way all again. those your mm. Igbo's name that you were calling. Yeah. I was lost at the minute. I said, what is he saying? Come back, come back I, 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 You actually brought me back. All right. Till we that. come your way again tomorrow, it will be explosive and insightful once again with us, the A-team. Don't move for muscle. It is still outnumbered. Have a splendid day.